All right, all right, everyone. You've got Robin Lynn keeping the vibes live, and I'm apparently not the only one in the house tonight. I have Patrice Jackson, Miss Savvy Pro, and Tina Hobson of I Am a Superwoman Radio. Ladies, are you with me? Hey, Robin. Hey, Robin. Hey, Robin. Spreaker Award winning Robin Lynn. <laughs> I'm not the only Spreaker Award winning person around here. And winner well, of the Ursa Awards, well, too. I know I'm saying. Well. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Tina, on all of your um, recent and uh, accomplishments. I'm just, I'm a big fan, a big fan of yours. Um, I'd just like to take a second uh, before we uh, bring in our guest of honor to uh tina i've been a big supporter of i am a superwoman radio for goodness has it been a year now just about a year yes. now. Mm-hmm. it's been about a year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wow because i've got it i've got it put in it's in writing somewhere <laughs> in my archives i've been trying to keep up with all of this new and exciting stuff that's going on since being syndicated um by robin man productions and oh my God, I'm running out of paper. I'm running out of ink. I'm running out. Of, I'm losing my mind. Okay, but it's all a good thing. It's all a good thing. It's yes. all good. I'm down. To yes. I'm down. And, you know, while I have been a guest on your wonderful show a few times now, I've been remiss in my duties. So I thought, what better time than to bring you on because you are are launching a spinoff. But before we talk about that. I just want to spend a few moments with you and um and just give the listeners um just a little a little flavor of who Tina is and what Tina does. You're just an awesome lady. So can you tell us wow. um about I am a superwoman radio? How did that come to be? Wow, you know, um thank you, Robin. Thank you for for the times that you've been on. I am a superwoman radio. And definitely all the support, the syndication, the, 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 you know, mentoring, the, just everything that you do to help me succeed. I appreciate it so very, very much. And also, and I guess we might talk about that later, our mm-hmm. new venture. Yes. Da, 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 yes. Da. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. but back to the question at hand. Um, I am a superwoman radio. We began, I began, um, December the 27th. And it was actually, you know, a urging, uh, a wooing, a nudging of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. you know, because I was listening to other people's shows, and I'm like, oh, that's good, that's nice, mm-hmm. and, you know, and then the Spirit says, well, you can do this, too, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. This was not, you know, this was not my passion, uh-huh. but it kept kind of gnawing at me, so um, I talked to a um, fellow um, blog talk broadcaster, um, um, Rhonda Stacy Andrews. Yeah. And I was a constant, you know, a faithful follower of hers. And she said that it sounded like a good idea. She said, if God tells you to do something, you need to do it. I said, well, I don't know where it's going. Uh-huh. She said, don't worry about where it's going. Just do it. Yes. And so she actually allowed me to air my first, um, blog talk show, um, my first, um, inaugural show on her blog talk radio platform. Okay. And from there, I went to, actually went into a conference call mm-hmm. show. You know, it's just strictly conference call. And then um, June, I think it was June or July of 2014, 2014, yeah, um, I got enough nerve to go on blog talk radio. Wow. And it was, it's in the rest of history, you know, my listeners are from all over the world, and, you know, we have topics of relevance to superwomen and supermen because I do have some faithful supermen. Who yes. Yes, you sure do. Dedicated the uh, Father's Day month to supermen. All of my guests last year were, um, of June of 15, 2015, mm-hmm. were all supermen in their own right. Yeah. And it, it went over really, really well. Yeah. Then somehow, some way, and don't ask me how, audience, I don't know, Robin Lynn and I 
<laughs> connected. I, I can't tell you when. I can't tell you how. I don't know. I really don't know. It just happened. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you, I know you were telling me that I was on the Vibes Live Network. And I'm like, really? Okay. <laughs> Not knowing what any of that meant, because I'm still, you know, kind of new. Yeah. And um, then, you you know, you, I started meeting other people. They started watching me. And then Jerry Lloyd's Live, he brought me on to the Positive Power 21.org network. Yes. And it just, you know, things have just exploded. You know, the caliber of my guests has, has, has heightened, you know, it's been a sort of a, a spiritual shift in the type of guests that, that come on the show now. Mm -hmm. They all have always had to meet a certain standard, yes. but that standard has, has, has taken, taken off to still just going with the flow. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah. And this year, well, 2015, I was honored to have won the um, best station um, speaker, Global Speaker Award, Yay. and I was more than honored to host the show Yay. with Robin Lynn. <laughs> that was such a wonderful thing, and Mo yes. from Egypt, yes. all the way from Egypt, yes. okay, I'm like, oh my goodness. We did the gosh darn and thing. <laughs> we did it, we did it, and then um, as recently as last week, I was awarded the... Um, the Ursa. Yes. The Internet Power Radio, 21 for Internet the best Radio Star show. Award. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's where I came from, and this is where I'm at now. Wow. And I'm actually now my own network in my own right. I'm bringing on two shows. One of the hostesses is, is actually one of our guests on the show tonight. We ain't forgot Gabby about Rose. you, Patrice. <laughs> yes, yes, she's here. She's here. Um, if anyone would like to call in and ask questions, feel free. The number is 605-562-3140 and the PIN 554-747-3140. Remember, hit that pound. Knock it out the box. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, speaking of your newly launched show, that brings us to Patrice. So, can you tell us? Can you just give us, a, a, before we bring Patrice on, can you tell us um, about Miss Savvy Pro, please. Oh, I, it's an honor. It is yes. always, always an honor <laughs> to talk about this young lady. Mm -hmm. um, she's been affectionately labeled by me as my right side. Yes. You know, a lot of people say... Uh, if spirit, that she knows when Tina needs something. She knows... When a superwoman needs to be recharged, mm -hmm. and she calls me and said, "Tina, um, do you need help with this? Do you need help with that?" Mm -hmm. She's just a loving, kindred spirit. And um, Patrice and I have known each other maybe about ten years now, okay. um, possibly. Yes. And um, she has shown herself to be faithful as a friend. As um, she's um, an awesome entrepreneur, she's worked several. Um, multi-level marketing businesses. She has her own um, enterprise, the um, Savvy Professional. She's a, a personal assistant. Okay. She is a loving family member. She's an author. Oh. She, she's just a little bit of everything, but most of all, Robin, and, and I'm going to not cry. It's my friend. Yes. And she, I know she'll be a friend for life because that's just who she is. Yeah. When she attaches to you and you prove yourself worthy, she she won't leave you. She won't leave you. Wow. So that's that's Miss Savvy Pro right here from Ohio. So can I ask how uh, did she? How did you happen to uh, create a show for Miss Savvy Pro? I love saying that, Miss Savvy Pro. <laughs> you know, Robin, to tell the truth, I can be a little bossy sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what happened is I told her that she was going to have her own show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't say no to me. 
Okay. You know, when she, especially because she knows I'm not going to tell her anything wrong. I'm not going to steer her in the wrong direction. Yes. And everything that we do for each other is to empower, inspire, and motivate each other. Yes. And she has said, well, you know, I don't think no more. We're doing it. Good. So she's going to be premiering on the I Am a Superwoman radio network this coming Tuesday, yes. January the 12th yes. at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can log in at I Am a Super, I mean, I'm sorry, www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash I Am a Superwoman 2, the number 2, and call in number is 845 Two seven seven nine two four three. Okay. All right. Now, Tina, I have to insist that you stop talking about this woman like she's not here. And let's bring her on right now. Patrice! <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady! Hey, Patrice! How are you, Patrice? It's so nice. I am doing great. It's <laughs> so great to be speaking with you again. We got to work together a little bit during the Spreaker, the Global Spreaker Award Shows 2015. You were awesome enough to come on, and you were a guest there. And I believe you presented some of the awards as well. So we thank you for that. So, uh, uh, goodness, uh, did is there anything that... That Tina left out. <laughs> First, let me say um, it is an honor to be on this show with you, wonderful award-winning ladies, <laughs> uh, people my, my role models. I mean, I love wow. you guys. Um, like you said, I have um, was um, had the honor of uh, being able to present an award uh, on the of speaker awards, and that was an awesome, awesome experience yeah. um, to be able to do that. And I thank you um, today for um, being able to do that. And um, I wasn't even able to be, um, when you were on um, Robin Lee and when you were on Tina's show, of course I was listening with attentive ears when you were on there, getting all those good nuggets. So wow. it is such an honor to be on the show with you guys today. I thank you for that. Well, you're certainly very, very, very welcome. So, um, um, how do you feel about doing your show? You excited? Um, I am excited. I am nervous. Yes. I am um, anticipating, anticipating it a lot. Uh, the biggest thing is I'm nervous. Yes. But, <clears throat> but it's okay. You know, what I've seen is in my life is that the things that make me nervous, when I accomplish it, when I accomplish it, those are the things that give me the best joy. So, I am thankful for Tina being bossy and saying, okay, it's time. You need to go ahead and get that together. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is what I need from you, and you need to get that, you need to get that done. So, <laughs> I am thankful for that. Yeah. Um, like she said, we have had a divine uh, connection. And, um, you know, she just like, um, you know, as she says, I have time to be there for her. Mm -hmm. um, she has been there for me. And it has been um awesome friendship um, over the years. A blessing, as I tell her. She has truly been a blessing. Her and her blessings have overflowed over on me. So, wow. uh, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, tell us, what is Miss Savvy Pro? What's that show going to be about? It is going to be a dynamic show. Yes. The show is going to, um, we're going to have guests on who have found their purpose and passion in life. So the premise of the show is that I want to make sure that when people tune in, when they, when they get, when the show is over, that they feel motivated and encouraged to go out and live their life, mm -hmm. live what they were born to do. Okay. Um, over the years, um, I am an empowerment speaker as well as a coach. And over the years, as I, as I met with clients or, um, you know, done workshops or seminars, I always get someone that comes up to me after afterwards and they're saying, well, you know, I have this dream or I've always been doing this and I just don't, I just don't know how to make it profitable. I don't know how to live it out or, you know, things like that. And I'm just saying, and I always tell them, like, it's in you. Everybody has a purpose. Yeah. And what I'm hoping is that when people listen to the show and they listen to the guests that um, will bless me with their presence on the show, um, that they see that even though everybody may get, you know what I'm saying? Let me, I'm going to think I might be echoey. I do apologize. So um, even though that we may all get to um, our purpose differently, we all have one. 
and then we all will get it as long as we just meditate and we stay focused. And I just want to be able for people to be able to get the tips from other people to see how that they they can live their dreams and live what they were born to do. Okay, that's awesome. Um, you know, because there's there's so many people out there. I just kind of think everybody is awesome. You know, in their own right, and everybody, everyone has something to offer. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, that is so true. And you know, there are some people out there doing things out of love. You know, helping people and and showcasing them, creating opportunities. And um, you know, unless someone is like doing something superheroish, th- these things are just so overlooked. And I yes. and and mm. um, I just kind of. I just kind of think that, you know, a lot of people, they thank me for opportunities and stuff like that. And basically, I'm just spreading love. You know what I mean? And um, to me, and I've said this before, I think that um, it should be, it should be, it should be so common that it's no great thing. It's really no great thing, uh, you know, spreading love. We all should be doing that, and in in that we should all be celebrated. You know what I mean? And yes, so, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So I really dig what you're doing. I really do. I uh uh. I'm gonna be a fan. I'm gonna be tuning in. I'm gonna be yeah. listening. I'm gonna be promoting. I'm gonna be supporting. It's really wonderful to see things being birthed out and to be there on the ground floor of things. Like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you know what, Robin, you just said a mouthful because I was talking to another friend. I'm mean, actually a mutual friend of, of Patrice and I. Yes. And we were talking about how much talent there is. We were just specifically talking about the Northeast Ohio, Cleveland area. Yes. And how so, how so many people are being overlooked because they have yet to have the name, you know, or the spotlight. Mm-hmm. People tend to, to gravitate towards those who have already made it. And those who are striving and in, in trying to attain greatness, even though the greatness is already there, but trying to uh, platform of their own, mm-hmm. they're being looked over, looked over. I mean, totally. Yeah. And so this, um, on I Am a Superwoman Radio, that's why I'm so happy to have Patrice because she's a, a native here and she's got a lot to say. She's got a lot of things going on for her mm-hmm. and people need to know about it. Mm-hmm. People definitely need to know about her. So anything I can do, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to do it. You know, and I'm just, you know, and I, if I could piggyback on what you said, um, because that reminded me of someone, I was talking to someone one day, and um, she was telling me about how she's like, well, I don't, you know, I have, I know I'm, I'm meant to do something, but I don't, I don't want to be an entrepreneur, or, you know, I don't want to have my own business, so we just happened to be talking over coffee one day, and she was just telling me about how, um, People like to come to her house, and she loved to, you know, um, be a hostess, but she didn't really want to be, like, a party planner or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But as we talk, it come to find out she was, like, the mother of her community. And, yes, like you said, someone like her wouldn't be celebrated because she doesn't have a name, and she's not trying to brand herself, and she's not out there networking and things like that. Don't get me wrong, those are awesome things, things I love to do. Mm-hmm. But, yes, just think about how many um, entrepreneurs or how many um, people have been encouraged by this woman who just was just show, like like Robin, Robin Lynn said earlier just showing love just being her yeah. you know the, being a mother figure in the community they were encouraged to do more and be who they were going to be and those people like you said need to be celebrated and they need to know that you are here for a purpose and your purpose has birthed other purposes and yeah. those are just you know, those are the things, you know, that I want to be able to showcase on the show. Yeah. Wow. I think that that's just great. I just think that's awesome. Did I tell y'all Happy New Year? <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 So, there are so many awesome things going on um um uh right here i don't want to take over the show but 
we are less than um, uh, the Robin Lynn Network on Spreaker. We are less than 200 away from reaching uh, the million listener mark on Spreaker. We've surpassed the million wow. listeners That's already awesome. on 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 all the platforms combined, but on Spreaker particularly, particularly, particularly <laughs> we are about to. I'm about to give the numbers right now, and um, when we hit it, well, we're going to wait until tomorrow afternoon. Yes. Oh my God, I'm at nine hundred and ninety nine thousand. Nine hundred and ten. <laughs> what? Congratulations! Okay. That's awesome. So, well, I, Patrice I, has some of her followers okay. sharing. So, we're, you. You, I knew you would get there tonight. I knew it. I knew it. I oh knew my it. god! Awesome. Oh my god! So, um, we're going to have a big million listener party celebration milestone celebration tomorrow afternoon uh 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 i uh let me see probably what's a good time for us to start five yeah my show is at eight mm -hmm. so yeah it has to be earlier okay yeah so we're going to come on the air at 5 p.m eastern standard time and kick off the celebration and so for anyone who's listening please be sure and call in 605-562-3140 and the pin is 554-747-POUND and get in on this awesome celebration I mean, it's uh, 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 it's oh, unheard of. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I began on Spreaker in 2013. So from 2013 to now, uh, that's pretty phenomenal to go up so much. <laughs> I'm looking at the numbers and I'm like tripping. <laughs> wow, well, you have every reason to. That's a great accomplishment. Congratulations, yes, it is. Robin. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't get there. I did not get there by myself. Um, Tina, you, I am a superwoman radio. You've provided content that the listeners listen to. You've got, uh, almost 4,000 views, uh, listeners yourself. And so wow. you count in that number too. And so this milestone that I'm reaching is your milestone as well, because your content is being exposed to those million listeners. And the same thing, uh, for Miss Savvy Pro, your show will be syndicated. Uh, uh, along with the other programming available on I Am A Superwoman Radio Network. Mm -hmm. Network. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yes. Put your <laughs> pinky fingers up, ladies. Put oh them my pinky goodness. fingers up. This mm -hmm. is absolutely... Mm -hmm. and, and mainly one listener at a time. I remember days... I remember there were months... There were many months went by that sometimes I would only have five listeners a month. You know... And mm. then all of a sudden, it just it just took off. And so, you know, if you have content, if you have a passion and you want to present, you want to host, you want to do a show, you know, entertain radio, music, talk, blog, podcast, whatever, just really go for it because there is an audience, you know, for all of that. And so you and you'd be surprised. um who's listening in and and who you're touching you know absolutely mm -hmm. and so i uh i'm just uh, have always been a big fan and supporter and actually i i prefer to sit back in the producer seat you know and then five four three two one and you're on but i uh i create shows and i've been coaching other people and and I really didn't have any intention of on hosting myself, but what had happened was <laughs> when the what shows happened, Robin. when the shows <laughs> would go live, the people would freeze, and so I would have to introduce the show and kind of get things going, and they got comfortable with that. Next thing I know, they'd be like, "Okay, we'll be back next week with my co-host Robin Lynn." I'm like, "I hear right, you know what just wow. happened here." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just that quick. Yeah, so, you, Patrice, you're not the only one that got thrown in the deep end of the water. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn how to swim. Get it together now. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness. But you know what, Bobby, when I remember when you were on the show, um, your story is so awesome that it had to be shared. So you knew you knew it was coming at some point. Well, you should have knew it was coming. I I did, but you know, I really wasn't wasn't trying to. I really am more comfortable uh, playing uh, uh, the role in support, you know, and just being being behind the scenes. It's great fun and it's great awesome. I've got to meet uh, so many people. And and it's really awesome, but um, I you know I look back and I look at the mirror and I'm like well, it's just me you know <laughs> so wow. you know I I look at I I look up to so many other people and I'm inspired by other people and that's what's you know kept me going so yeah I'm just really really grateful now Patrice I hear that you've written you're an author. He's put that <laughs> finger back up. You want to tell us about what you've written? Yes, um, I wrote a book. Um, it is on Kindle, um, and it's called Twenty Five. It's called Lunch Break, and it's twenty five things that a savvy professional can do on their lunch break in order to be to be productive or um, live their dream. Mm -hmm. So, what I did was I just took you know different things that I put in a book, and I just took different things that you can do on your lunch break. Like for instance, um, if it's like like if you have your entrepreneur, but you have a nine to five corporate job, like I do, because I do have also have a corporate nine to five job as well in the insurance in industry. Mm -hmm. And what I learned was that on my lunch break, I would answer emails from my clients, or I would make calls, or if I knew that I was going to have a weekend where what I call beast mode, where I'm just working and I got my phone turned off and I need to just be focused. What I would do is run my errands on my lunch break. I would go, you know, maybe go grocery shopping or pick up the laundry, um, the dry cleaning or, you know, pick up prescriptions and things like that um, on my lunch break so that I would be able to focus on the weekend without being, distur being disturbed. Yes. So when I put that out there, um, it was just basically I kind of created it for my clients at first. And then I put it in a book and it sold. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's how that works. Okay, <laughs> wow. So I was so excited about that. I released it on my birthday, August 15th. That was last year. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, it's 2014. And um, now I am I'm in the process of working on my second book. And, and that's going to be focusing on um, business and how you can create your business um, one step at a time. Yeah. So hopefully, well, not hopefully, it will be out by my birthday um, August of this year for sure. And um, so follow up books from there. Okay. Y'all writing books and things? I, I want to be on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, man, that might just happen because I want to write an anthology too. So um, that's been something that's been on the back burner that I need to pull and um, get taken care of. So I can see that happening. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm going to. I'm gonna keep my pinky finger up till it happens. Now, <laughs> well, I better work on it. I don't want to have y'all look the mess of your fingers. I don't want to no cramp. I don't want to be. I don't want to have. I'm not trying to mess up nobody's show. It will not be on me. <laughs> yeah. So that is just awesome. Now, when when you went to write the book, I mean, just. How do you know how to write a book, get it published, and all of that? I mean, for you, it seemed seemed to be pretty easy for you, but is it an easy process or challenging? What was your challenge about getting the book written and published? Well, um, it was challenging because it was something new to me. Mm -hmm. However, the good thing about it was um, one of the things that I'm like, like I'm not like very like obsessed about it and that's purpose so you know if you're do I was writing something that was a passion of mine so the the material itself kind of came naturally and once I sat down and then I focused on writing it um it kind of flowed out of me however the whole publishing and things like that totally new to me mm -hmm. but the good thing about it is I'm a research nerd so I would jump on the internet and go to in the library I'm in love with the library um, I'm a friend of the library. I donate everything. So mm -hmm. I would do that and find out every little detail that I can find out. And I use those things in order to be able to publish my book and make sure that what I was putting out there was correct and that it was going to help people. So it was a challenge, but even though it was a challenge, it was fun because I grew through it. And that's one of the biggest things that 
um, we must do is that when we do something that is challenging, that it makes it all work for if you go through it. And I did do that with that book. Wow. That's just amazing. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Okay, so um, let me see. Where can everyone contact you? Well, first of all, tell us the name of the book and where can we get it again? It's on Kindle. It's a, it's a Kindle book, and it's called um, Lunch Break: Twenty Five Things That Savvy Professional Savvy Professional Can Do on Their Lunch Break. Um, and it's, it's on Kindle, so it's on Amazon. And honestly, I miss Savvy Pro everywhere. Okay. So on Instagram, Facebook, my website, all of that. If you put that in Google, or if you go to MissSavvyPro.com, dot com, mm-hmm. or you search it, almost social media, um, you'll find it here. And it's there for you. Okay. Yeah. Now, I am glad that you mentioned the Kindle because um, the process to write a paperback or a hardback, it's about a year. And an ebook, it's about six months. Not writing, but the publishing part of it. And it's really expensive. And then once you get the book published and you get it to the bookstore, you have to hope that that bookstore owner is going to go, hey, go to the shelf and buy this book. And we know that does not happen. Same thing with the e- e-books. You have to drive someone to them. But the Kindle, I think it's brilliant because it's um, affordable, you know, and it's a, it's a, um, less expensive and a much faster process. And then guess what? You have your your... You have the book, and you have the distribution, and it's all right there in that neat little package. Uh huh. And the Kindle, people can read read Kindle if they, they you don't have to have a Kindle device to read it. You can read it on the web. Right. You can read it on your on your uh, on your mobile device, on your tablets, all of that. And so it's easily accessible, and the distribution is just right there. You know. And uh, yeah, and they walk you through it too. So yes. that was that was a, a key thing for me as well. Yeah, is they kind of walk you through each step. Yes, um, give you suggestions along the way. And like you said, it is cheaper. My book is only two ninety nine, um, on Kindle. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, it is. It's, it allows you to be able to get your books to your readers, mm-hmm. um, for a, a most uh, a cheaper price. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let me let me ask you this question. Um. We know that a, a lot of people self-publish, um, go to a publisher. Have you ever had a, a, a publisher? Do you know the differences if there's more challenges with self-publishing versus um, working with an established pub, um, book publisher? Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm not... I have taken a few classes with people who specialize in that, mm-hmm. and um, self-publishing, from what I understand, um, can be much cheaper. However, um, even though it's much cheaper, you kind of doing a lot yourself, um, and you know you're basically probably doing your own cover, and you have to do your own a- advertising, and you have to do mm-hmm. you're, you're basically your one stop. You're you're your one stop shop. Um, and you're doing a lot of work. So if you t- think about time versus money, um, it probably may actually end, you know, kind of add up, it, it, depending on what your skill is. Mm-hmm. However, with a publisher where you kind of got, you just go in and you just create your own content, um, a lot of times you don't have to do your own editing. Um, there you just say, okay, this is the content. Uh, you give it to your publisher, and they handle everything for you. They just tell you where to show up. Mm-hmm. And give you a list of what you need to do. So I think that's the biggest difference, just in you know knowing what your goal is, why you're why you're actually selling the book. For me, it was just trying to get some content out to people, to my clients and people and potential customers. Where um, some people may write a book because they want to get their story out and they just want to reach the masses. Mm-hmm. And I just think um, if you know what your goal is and you do your research, you can figure out which one is best for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that right. the Kindle process is certainly uh, the most brilliant, really. I just think ha- all the way around, hands down. So it, that's just if you ask me. And I was taught uh, the Kindle process was brought to my attention by um, um, by a publisher himself. Uh, 
what is his name? Du, du, du. Uh, uh, I can't think of the man's name right now, but uh, uh, he's a publisher himself. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 I just can't think of his name right now. I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyway, anyway, let's keep moving forward. Um, uh, Patrice, um, if 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 you were going to say something to motivate and encourage someone right now, what would you say? Don't stop. There you go. Mm. Uh huh. Don't stop. Just uh-huh. keep going. Even if you slow down, don't stop. Uh huh. Don't stop. It was a period of my time um, when I had lost um, some loved ones in my family, and I slowed down. Mm-hmm. But if I even could get an hour or a day in to pursue my dream, I did it. And those were some of the things that kept me busy and brought me out of um, a darker time in my life. Yeah. And so just don't stop. Just do if, if you do one small thing. Um, and um, we, as a matter of fact, um, we went to a vision board party today, and Tina is a big advocate for vision boards. And those are something that, you know, I suggested a lot of people do because when you do slow down, if you have that there, that's something that can keep you going a little bit, mm-hmm. um, just to remind you of what you're doing and why you're not going to stop. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Tina, same question. Well, um, Patrice pretty much um, covered it. She answered her answer was very, very good. No matter what, especially when you think you can't, Mm -hmm. that's usually when you can because your breakthrough is usually right around the corner. It's that next step that you're going to take. So many um, entrepreneurs, so many, you know, business people, Mm -hmm. professionals, they lose out on the opportunity to become greater because they give up a little bit too soon. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to put in the hard work. You have to, you know, have the sleepless nights. You have to sometimes leave out. Having, you know, from appointment to appointment. Those are just the things that being an adult, <laughs> yes. a lot of times encounters, you know, yes. you have to go above and beyond. Um, for me, I just know that what I want out of life, and believe me, my it's, it's more days behind me than there are in front of me, mm-hmm. but my motto is it's never too late to be great. You know, I'm a great-grandmother, but I'm still striving for greatness. Yeah. I'm still striving for more. I'm still striving to empower, to um, inspire, to motivate, and not only myself, which is... I do motivate myself, but I want to bring somebody along with me. People like Patrice, yeah. you know, who who might not have had this opportunity otherwise because, well, nobody's offered it to her before. Nobody made her. <laughs> so here I am. You know, yeah. I believe that was my assignment. Patrice <laughs> is my assignment, and she's, and I'm hers. Yes. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's real serious work. It's, it's busy work. Yes. It's, it's um, sweaty work. It's time consuming. But it, at the end of the day, when you can look in your journal or look in your calendar and see all the things that you've done, and especially if you've been there and helped somebody else, it's all worth it. Oh, wow. We have a caller on the line. I want to give an opportunity. If you have a question, if you'd like to uh, ask a question to one of these ladies, uh, caller, last four numbers are 4900. Uh, the line is open. If you want to ask a question, just jump right in there. It's okay. Doesn't seem like Hi. I don't have any questions, but I just want to say I love these ladies, Tina and Patrice. They are phenomenal women, and I'm so very inspired by them. Very inspired. Well, thank you for being here, and thank you for letting them know I'm very inspired by them, too. So, And I'm, I'm also very inspired by the listeners. Uh huh. Because without the listeners, all this, you know, what we're doing, you know, really, really, you know, it's for you all. So thank you so much for calling in. 
Yes. Lady. Thank you. Have I covered everything? Is there anything I forgot? Is there anything that you will all would like to contribute before we wrap up? Well, you know, Patrice does a lot in the community. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you tell us what, what's your next up-and-coming um, event, Patrice? Yes, please. Uh, well, um, my next event, of course, is my talk show. It starts this Tuesday, January 12th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you there. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, Saturday, um, here at Cleveland, I am going to be speaking at the um, open house for Curb Appeal, Project Curb Appeal, which is an organization that promotes um, um, encouraging women with curves, or just women, period, honestly, to be who they are and love who they are and um, be confident in that. So I had got, I had got the honor to speak um, at their open house, and I am so excited about that. That is going to be um, this Saturday coming up at 12 p.m., mm-hmm. and um, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, list the information in the uh, event page. Okay. All right. Well, Tina, uh-huh. tell everyone where we can hear I Am A Superwoman Radio. Well... My very next show, Robin Lynn, is actually tomorrow night, Sunday night, um, every Sunday, 8 o'clock p.m. You know, it comes a time when we, even superwomen need to just stop and rest and, and, and breathe again, you know, and, and get recharged. Mm-hmm. And Sunday night at 8 o'clock is, is that time, 8 o'clock, um, Praise and Worship Power Hour, mm-hmm. a full hour of Praise and Worship Gospel music, you know, allowing you to kickstart your week to um, kick off the dust from the um, from the weekend and just relax and, and get in the spirit, get in the mode for um, every. It's just a one-hour show, okay. but um, no commercials, minimal interruptions, just breathing in a breath of fresh anointing, breath of fresh anointing awesome. in such a relaxing time. Awesome. Then, of course, like Patrice said, Tuesday, Tuesday, the grand all inaugural kickoff show of the Miss Savvy Pro Show. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Yes. Patrice, I, I just, it's, this is going to be a phenomenal history making um, evening for both of us. Mm-hmm. Her inaugural show and the kickoff of the official kickoff of the I am a Superwoman Radio Network. Yes. It'll be official. Yes. And then on, um, again, on Friday night is my regular show, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am a Superwoman. Mm-hmm. And this week, um, oh, my God, I've had so many guests. So let me not say who my guest is because I might. Oh, yes, I do know who my guest is. It's, Dar- it's Spotlight on Cleveland. Okay. Darnella Allen. She is an advocate and a survivor of hepatitis C, okay. the silent killer, All the right. silent killer. So please tune this Friday. Um, she's an expert. She has an organization called LEAF. Mm-hmm. It's a liver education and advocacy program mm-hmm. right in Cleveland, Ohio. So this is going to she, be a great show. She's returning um, for the second time I to talk about, so. you yes. know, this, this, um, this liver disease that's killing so many people. Mm-hmm. And then on January the 16th, my, our plan is to kick off the Kid Talk with Katera show. Yes. A show for kids, by kids, for kids. Yes. Um, Katera is a 12-year-old entrepreneur, um, athlete, scholar, all around good girl. Yes. So she will be providing a platform for I'll be providing her a platform for her kids her age, um, to have a safe place yes. to discuss um preteen and teenage issues. So I'm really looking forward to Kid Talk with Katera. Yeah. And uh I'm gonna let you make the big announcement about uh the <laughs> with you, me and Mo. <laughs> Hello? Oh, audience, audience, I'm so thrilled. Thank you know, you. so much has happened yes. in such a short period of time. You know, starting my own radio show, being syndicated by Robin Lynn, 
being syndicated by Jerry Royce Live, winning the Global Speaker Award, winning the Ursa Award. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and minds, you know, like-minded people do come together. They attract. And this young man named Mo and Robin and I had a conversation a couple of weeks ago. And out of that conversation was birthed the TRM Network. Mm-hmm. The T stands for Tina, the R for Robin, and the M for Mo. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be showcasing um, a, a program and award shows this upcoming um, year and in the future. Mm-hmm. Robin, take it from here. I'm so excited. I can barely breathe. Yes. I can, yes. Uh, I can, honestly, I can barely breathe. I am so excited. One of the things that uh, we formed the network to do is to bring uh, uh, spotlight and attention and celebrate other Internet radio stations. Because internet radio is really um, more than on the rise, and yes. and uh, and it's kind of like underrated. And so we want to give it uh, elevation to its stature by celebrating and bringing attention to the different um, to the different uh, all the different internet radio stations uh, and uh, beyond the Spreaker radio network. And so yeah. um, one of the events that we're planning is Summerlicious. We'll, we'll be uh, spotlighting summertime events on and offline as well as other radio stations. It won't be an award show, uh, but we will be having a, 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 some sort of global internet award show as well. So this will be 2016 will be the launch of that and also Mo will be coming on with uh um uh, a top 20 once a month he'll be coming on with the top 20 hits and uh hit show and then he's also bringing back his uh his show uh where he uh interacts with younger people uh and it's called the message and so they'll yeah. be able to call in and speak about. And actually, I believe, uh, I believe we have a title for that. Uh, I, did we go with the message, or, or I think we're going to go with the message? And I think we're going to con- continue with the message. The message was what people were familiar with. Yes. Yes. And the theme. And so we're not. If it's not broke, we're not fixing it. Yeah. And uh, it, we're not. It's not broke, and it's not. And we're not fixing it. But we will be incorporating um, the the aspect where youth, you know, can can you hear what we're not saying? And Absolutely. So can the, you hear what I'm not saying? Yes. So the youth will be able to call in and talk about their issues, whether it's bullying, cyberbullying, abuse, uh, uh, just anything with with their peer. Uh huh. And so we're really looking forward forward to that and other awesome, amazing things. We're developing the website. Uh, there'll be a call-in number. I mean, just a whole well-rounded the emails where people can email their comments and questions and interact and all of that. So um, congratulations to you. Tina, congratulations to you. Patrice, thank you both so much for being on the show. And congratulations to you, Robin, for one million listeners. (laughs) Congratulations. That's so awesome. Thank you. I have my studio set up in front of me. I can't give you the canned applause, but I'm going to applaud and Thank you. Thank you. That's a great accomplishment. That is an awesome, awesome one million listeners. That's who, who, who would have thought it? Who could have thought it? All but right. you put in the work, you put in the effort, you put in the in the sweat and the tears, and oh, I'm so proud of you. Wow, thank you. Well, I'm very grateful to you, ladies, for being here. I'm just looking at the numbers: nine hundred and thirty-one. Uh, uh, so I oh, think we're at seventy <laughs> away. Ah, I'm gonna sit here and just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. So, okay. All right. And 
Steve Harvey's not here, so we don't have to worry about the, you know, about about someone getting else to make the wrong announcement. Leave Steve Harvey alone. <laughs> Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Okay. How you doing, Steve? Uh, He might be a future guest. I'm not going to say. Mm hmm. I know. I know. All right, ladies. I love you both so much. Huh? With awesome guests, um, just Joe Brown that we co um, host together. So you never know who is in the wings waiting to come out of that green room and be on our show. Yeah, you just never know. Yeah, never know. So, yeah, never know. And you'll never know when we're going to pop up either, so be on your best manners and remember, <laughs> keep that pinky <laughs> finger up. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Robin, thank yes. you for having us tonight. Yeah. I love you ladies both so much, and I'm looking forward to great and awesome things for you. I will be promoting and sharing and loving forevermore. Amen. Yep. Amen. So th- thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to this episode of the Vibes Live Exclusives. Tonight we had uh, Patrice Jackson and Tina Hobson of I Am a Superwoman Radio. Tune in tomorrow, all day long, all day long on Sunday. Uh huh. For Vibes Live. Uh, a Vibes Live will be running Gospel Music Explosion all day long. Uh, but we also will be breaking in uh, at, at VibesLive.com. And we also will be celebrating the 1 million listener mark. And so yeah. you never know. You, the listeners, are a big part of that. So I would love it if you all would call in 605 562 Three one four zero in the pin. Five five four seven four seven pound and chime in and let us know how long you've been listening to Vibes Live and Robin Lynn and just like that. Okay. So anyway, we'll see everyone later. Have a great evening and thanks again, ladies. I love you. Bye bye. Good, good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Bye bye. <laughs> Listening, now listening, vibes, vibes, radio, 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 radio.